Hello everybody, it's Susie and Katrina here for week nine of Pictures Up and Exhibition and this week we're looking at the Hut on Hen's Legs Baba Yaga. Um, this is a really, really exciting and scary movement, okay? In due course, but not today, it will go really quite fast, okay? So uh, it might look as though you have a lot of time between the Arco and Pitts bits, but when it comes to final performance speed, I don't think you'll have time to put down your bow and pick it up again. So it would be yeah. good if you can practice doing your pits holding your bow, all right? Okay. Um, I really think that would be best. Uh, even if you just look at, at figure 97, your arco, you only have one bar there and then your pits and then you're back to arco again, again after only one bar's rest. Um, uh, so certainly it's impossible to, to put it down and pick it up there, but even where you might have eight bars rest, they go by quite quickly. They go by see. very fast, okay. They're not going to go by fast today because the speed that the SEO uh, quintet are playing it on in this is really nice and relaxed, okay. It's in two today and then it goes into a slightly different speed of four at 94. And it's much slower at 94, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it actually feels not slower just now because uh, of the speed that they're going mm. in the outer sections. But uh, in due course again when the outer sections are in one uh, that's going to feel quite a lot slower when we get to 94 so you need to watch out for the change of tempo gordon's doing a brilliant job of counting at the beginning of 94 so that we know what speed they're going at and again at 98 where it goes back to the the original speed he counts again there okay um there's a couple of things in the Violin. I think, shall we talk about the down, down, down? Oh, thing? yes. That's in everyone's part. 84. Just when we start, it says down, down, down. Okay. Now, when it goes fast, it's, it's quite hard, isn't it? Yes, and it's, it's going to sound not very nice. Bab Baba Yaga was not very nice. Was Baba Yaga was not very nice. So, that, that's my best effort. Is yeah. that enough? Yeah. Okay. So, really try and get a kind of nice right at the heel I think. Do you think? Yeah. Well it's hard to control if you do it. Exactly. Right. It's much easier to control okay. if you're right at the heel <laughs> because then there's not the whole bow flapping. Very good. That's a good tip, top tip from okay. Susie. And keep it quite light. Although it says FF, don't try too hard yet. The whole orchestra is playing with you. Yeah. You don't need to be the one making all of the sound, okay? In uh, the other string parts but not in the bass part I think at the bar before 92 and then again in the bar before 105 it you've got two notes there and it says gliss okay this is a moment to have fun all right again it's going to go really fast um, and uh, the first note is on the first beat of the bar and the second note is on the second half of the bar um, and in the violin part that I've got here it's going from a B and it doesn't matter what the top note is you get to. But the whole idea is you're going to slide up the string, okay? You're going to go like that, okay? And you're going to get to wherever you are at the top. Where is it? The bar before 92? The bar before 92 and the bar before 105. Yeah, in the bass part, we've just got a pizzicato on the B, which you can just play if you want to. If you feel adventurous and you want to join everyone else, just do that. And just slide up yeah that's okay you can do it on a pits as well for as long as you can. yeah okay so that's the idea just try and keep uh, this hand relaxed if you're gripping here you won't be able to do it all right so try and just let your hand fly up the fingerboard okay but keep your finger pressed down okay <laughs> it's a fun noise it's supposed to sound a bit like what <laughs> yeah exactly Bobby our guy is a is a slightly scary character there's not there's there's dark deeds going on here okay I think. all right anyway i will press start and we'll play along with the with quintet we'll count out loud as we have been two weeks in the bar to start two with weeks so in the quite bar. fast okay. we might even not even count both people let's try yeah absolutely here we go so um gordon gordon's going to count us in two bars i think okay two bars then. one two two one Two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, three, four. Eight. 
86. Two, three, four, five, six, seven.
So the reason I kept counting at the end is because uh, in due course, when we come to play the whole thing all together, this movement carries on into the next movement, the Great Gate of Kiev, without a break. So it's really important you know where you are so that you can play at the start of the next movement because I suspect we all do, don't we? Is there, there's a tiny little... It's a very tiny uh, gap, It's very, very, very tiny. tiny. But the rests in the fast bits of that, the rests will be easy to count when it's going up to speed because it's like... Dun, da, 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 da. So the bars will be going past one, two, three, four. You won't count one, two, 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 three. There no. won't be time to count the notes in between, will there? No. So the, so the bars rest will be very easy to count, actually. Yeah. But the, the strings and brass in particular need to be ready for it because they play on bar one of the Great Gate of Kiev. Do you know what's quite hard is the and then counting because it gets it's quite exciting, isn't it? It yes. makes your head go what? It really does. Um, so try and keep your head screwed on while you're doing that very short glissando. Yes. Da ya. So that you so in due course it's going to go one da ya bum 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 one two one two one two one two which is why I why I conduct it in one rather than in two because it's sort of too fast. Um. Very good. It's going to be so exciting when the whole orchestra gets together. Have fun. It's actually really that I really enjoyed that violin part. Yeah. 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 I really enjoyed that. Very I find nice. it quite a bit easier than the last one I had on the I have to say. All right? I think that was Limoges maybe, wasn't it? I really, I really found Limoges hard. If you're finding the down, down, down too hard, just do down, just up, do down. down up, down. It's all right. But down, down, down is quite a fun thing to practice, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Really good. Very good. So next week's week 10, isn't it? Great the the last yeah. week of term one. The next last week, week before Christmas. And, and then, then after Christmas, we go back through with the, the bigger orchestra. Yes. And that's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. we've already so, made those recordings. It's very <laughs> exciting. I can't wait for you all to see them next term. Very good. Well, stay safe. Yeah. And keep practicing. Oh, and don't remember, forget to send in your selfies. Yes, I took yeah. my selfie yesterday. So last week the the conductor challenge was send a selfie. So if you haven't sent a selfie, then email one to connect at seo.org.uk. Yeah. And um, we'd love to see pictures of everyone that's that's participating in the project definitely and uh, this week there's a really exciting conductor challenge as well so have a look at the conductor chat video this week to find out what Susie's challenge is for us all this week <laughs> cool see you all next week see you. bye